Hitting a high shot on command is a very important skill to develop. It can get you out of trouble and help you control those approach shots when they hit the green. So in this video, you'll learn exactly how to hit these so you can try it next time you play. Let's get stuck in. Alrighty, high shots. Yeah. Right? We can uh, make some small adjustments into our setup, which can promote a higher ball flight or launch straight off the club face and also a couple of things throughout our swing. I want you to talk us through that mm -hmm. and what would be the easiest way for the players at home next time they're faced with a shot, be it they've got to hit the tree or the pins really cut short on mm -hmm. the green and they need to get a high launching, soft landing ball flight. I've got a six iron here. What would you recommend that they do? Yeah, I think really simply have a look at what club you use and it sounds so simple and so stupid, but if you need to make it go higher, choose a club with a bit more loft. But I think if you're going to stick to the same club and try and um, maybe manipulate the club and make the ball do something different. Let's have a look at setup to start off with. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm going to get set up to my stock setup here, and I'm going to get this golf ball located approximately underneath my left ear at address, just sort of center for that ball position. Yeah. What do we do for here to hit a high shot? Yeah. I'm just going to move that, move that ball position forward a little bit. So okay. it's very easy to move it forward and fat the ball or move it forward and thin the golf ball so although we've moved it forward straight away that's altering the low point and the bottom of the arc and a few things with the angle of attack so i think just be conscious as you do move ball position around what it's affecting yeah 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 so would you recommend that players then go put a little bit more weight on their front foot by shifting their mass to their front side yeah i would say that that's going to help a little bit but having that active movement as well across to that lead side so it's also not going to be beneficial because as you move the ball position forward and your weight comes forward, mm -hmm. we spoke about this in another video about weight. You start in here, you're going to try and kind of move back and across, yeah. but also just set up again there, Kerrod. Mm -hmm. So it's affecting this way, but if I just move it ridiculously too far forward and he moves his club now, these shoulders are now pointing so far to the left. So that's affecting something else. It's going to start to manipulate the track that I set my club on the backswing mm. and the downswing. So ball position is going to move forward, but now you're saying, okay, instead of really front loading my weight forward, because mm -hmm. then that can affect the pivot and the swing, you're suggesting maybe we try and do it throughout the motion. Yeah, so just have that conscious effort. We've moved the ball position up. Now I can't sit back in the same place. I've got to have a slight lateral shift to get back across to this ball position because again it's affecting the bottom of the arc but i need to make sure that i get the golf club to where the golf ball is so uh i think the best way for players to go about that is actually have the end in mind of where they would like to finish their golf swing so moving the ball forward there but also having that full intention of following the way through towards the target so all your weight is on the outstep of your front foot hips and chest are forward and tall facing the target that will tend to uh, tie up any sort of low point issues that players might have. Yeah, okay. 100%. Now, through the swing, anything that we should be focusing on, I've got my ideas for this, yeah. of how to encourage a motion which would add more loft than anything and also encourage through that golf ball that we're guaranteeing mm. somewhat of a quality strike and high loft. Yeah, I think without changing the grip around so we don't change the release and the loft too much, I think if you're keeping the grip the same, you might just have that feeling of actively releasing that golf club a little bit more. Yeah. Releasing it, getting the head to overtake the handle or certainly that feeling. Yep. Although we don't want too much of that actually on the shot, mm -hmm. that's going to, again, make something else change, the low point and so on and so on. So all of these things that we change, ball position, a little bit more release, trying to increase a loft, just be aware of what else that's going to change. Yeah, yeah, very good. So with the hitting the high shot, I think the intention... The easiest way to go about this for players at home is to just think about where the end of the grip's kind of pointing, right? Uh, if you finish as high as you possibly can like this, there's a good chance that to get that golf club to that point, you have gotten the head catching up mm -hmm. following through. So hands and butt of the club here finishing as high as you can because if you go back to the low video that we did before, handle was finishing very low yeah. to our bodies. Oh, Trying to get... Everything up as high as we can, we can see that we get a little bit more uh, extension of their body, which is going to translate into more loft, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to move that ball position a little bit further forward in my stance. I'm going to feel 
Like I finish really tall and high. Full intention, swinging towards the target. Let's have a look at the launch. Significantly higher than the previous one. There was a tree in front. Hopefully it was coming down like but of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. YouTube thinks that you would benefit from watching this one next. So click that card and it could be the tip that you need to take your game to the next level. I'll see you next time.